Earth radius is the distance from the center of Earth to a point on its surface. Its value ranges from 6378 kilometers, 3963 miles at the equator to 6357 kilometers, 3950 miles at a pole. Earth's radius can be defined in different ways because Earth is not a perfect sphere. The surface to which a radius extends is commonly chosen to be on an ellipsoid representing the shape of Earth. Like the surface, what point gets used for the center of Earth is also a matter of definition and therefore contributes to the diverse ways of defining Earth's radius. When only one radius is stated, the International Astronomical Union prefers that it be the equatorial radius. The International Union of Geodesy and Geophysics gives three global average radii, the arithmetic mean of the radii of the ellipsoid R1, the orthalic radius, which is of a sphere having the same surface area as the ellipsoid R2, and the volumetric radius, which is of a sphere having the same volume as the ellipsoid R3. All three of those radii are about 6,371 km 3 miles. Many other ways to define Earth radius have been described. Some appear below. A few definitions yield values outside the range between polar radius and equatorial radius because they include local or geoidal topology or because they depend on abstract geometrical considerations. Topic Introduction Earth's rotation, internal density variations, and external tidal forces cause its shape to deviate systematically from a perfect sphere. Local topography increases the variance, resulting in a surface of profound complexity. Our descriptions of Earth's surface must be simpler than reality in order to be tractable. Hence, we create models to approximate characteristics of Earth's surface, generally relying on the simplest model that suits the need. Each of the models in common use involve some notion of the geometric radius. Strictly speaking, spheres are the only solids to have radii, but broader uses of the term radius are common in many fields, including those dealing with models of Earth. The following is a partial list of models of Earth's surface, ordered from exact to more approximate The actual surface of Earth The geoid, defined by mean sea level at each point on the real surface A spheroid, also called an ellipsoid of revolution, geocentric to model the entire Earth, or else geodetic for regional work a sphere in the case of the geoid and ellipsoids, the fixed distance from any point on the model to the specified center is called a radius of the Earth, or the radius of the Earth at that point. It is also common to refer to any mean radius of a spherical model as the radius of the Earth. When considering the Earth's real surface, on the other hand, it is uncommon to refer to a radius since there is generally no practical need. Rather, elevation above or below sea level is useful. Regardless of the model, any radius falls between the polar minimum of about 6,357 km and the equatorial maximum of about 6,378 km Hence, the Earth deviates from a perfect sphere by only a third of a percent, which supports the spherical model in many contexts and justifies the term, "...radius of the Earth". While specific values differ, the concepts in this article generalize to any major planet. <laughs> Physics of Earth's deformation Rotation of a planet causes it to approximate an oblate ellipsoid, spheroid with a bulge at the equator and flattening at the north and south poles, so that the equatorial radius A is larger than the polar radius B by approximately a q. The oblateness constant q is given by 
Q equals a three Omega two G M Display style Q equals frac a carrot three Omega carrot two GM where omega is the angular frequency, g is the gravitational constant, and m is the mass of the planet. For the Earth 1, q approximately equals 289, which is close to the measured inverse flattening 1, f approximately equals 298.257. Additionally, the bulge at the equator shows slow variations. The bulge had been decreasing, but since 1998 the bulge has increased, possibly due to redistribution of ocean mass via currents. The variation in density and crustal thickness causes gravity to vary across the surface and in time, so that the mean sea level differs from the ellipsoid. This difference is the geoid height, positive above or outside the ellipsoid, negative below or inside. The geoid height variation is under 110 meters (360 feet) on Earth. The geoid height can change abruptly due to earthquakes, such as the Sumatra-Andaman earthquake, or reduction in ice masses, such as Greenland. Not all deformations originate within the Earth. The gravity of the Moon and Sun cause the Earth's surface at a given point to undulate by tenths of meters over a nearly 12-hour period. See Earth tide. Topic: Radius and local conditions. Given local and transient influences on surface height, the values defined below are based on a general purpose model, refined as globally precisely as possible within 5 meters (16 feet) of reference ellipsoid height, and to within 100 meters (330 feet) of mean sea level, neglecting geoid height. Additionally, the radius can be estimated from the curvature of the Earth at a point. Like a torus, the curvature at a point will be greatest tightest in one direction north-south on Earth and smallest flattest perpendicularly east-west. The corresponding radius of curvature depends on the location and direction of measurement from that point. A consequence is that a distance to the true horizon at the equator is slightly shorter in the north-south direction than in the east-west direction. In summary, local variations in terrain prevent defining a single, precise, radius. One can only adopt an idealized model. Since the estimate by Eratosthenes, many models have been created. Historically, these models were based on regional topography, giving the best reference ellipsoid for the area under survey. As satellite remote sensing and especially the global positioning system gained importance, true global models were developed which, while not as accurate for regional work, best approximate the Earth as a whole. <laughs> Fixed radius. The following radii are fixed and do not include a variable location dependence. They are derived from the World Geodetic System 1984 standard ellipsoid. The value for the equatorial radius is defined to the nearest 0.1 m in WGS84. The value for the polar radius in this section has been rounded to the nearest 0.1 m, which is expected to be adequate for most uses. Refer to the WGS84 ellipsoid if a more precise value for its polar radius is needed. The radii in this section are for an idealized surface. Even the idealized radii have an uncertainty of plus or minus 2 m. The discrepancy between the ellipsoid radius and the radius to a physical location may be significant. When identifying the position of an observable location, the use of more precise values for WGS84 radii may not yield a corresponding improvement in accuracy. The symbol given for the named radius is used in the formulae found in this article. Equatorial radius 
The Earth's equatorial radius A, or semi-major axis, is the distance from its center to the equator and equals 6,378.1370 km The equatorial radius is often used to compare Earth with other planets. Polar radius. The Earth's polar radius B, or semi-minor axis, is the distance from its center to the north and south poles, and equals 6,356.7523 km Location-dependent radii Topic: Geocentric radius. The distance from the Earth's center to a point on the spheroid surface at geodetic latitude phi is r phi equals a two cos phi two plus b two sin phi 2 a cos phi 2 plus b sin phi 2 display style r var phi equals sqrt frac a caret 2 cos var phi caret 2 plus b caret 2 sin var phi caret 2 a cos var phi caret 2 plus b sin var phi caret 2 where and b are respectively the equatorial radius and the polar radius topic Geophysical extremes Maximum, the summit of Chimborazo is 6,384.4 km miles from the Earth's center. Minimum, the floor of the Arctic Ocean is approximately 6,352.8 km miles from the Earth's center. Radii of curvature Principal sections There are two principal radii of curvature, along the meridional and prime vertical normal sections. Meridional in particular, the Earth's radius of curvature in the north-south meridian at phi is m phi equals a b two a cos phi two plus b sin phi two Three two Display style M var phi equals frac ab carrot two big a cos var phi carrot two plus B sin var phi carrot two big carrot frac three two This is the radius that Eratosthenes measured. Topic Prime vertical if one point had appeared due east of the other, one finds the approximate curvature in the east-west direction. This radius of curvature in the prime vertical which is perpendicular, normal or orthogonal to m at geodetic latitude phi is n phi equals a 2 a cos phi 2 plus 
B sin phi two Display style n var phi equals frac a carrot two sqrt a cos var phi carrot two plus b sin var phi carrot two. This radius is also called the transverse radius of curvature. At the equator, n equals r. The Earth's meridional radius of curvature at the equator equals the meridian semi lattice rectum. B2 a equals 6335. 439 km the Earth's polar radius of curvature is A2 B equals 6399. 594 kilometers equals. Topic directional. equals the earth's radius of curvature along a course at an azimuth measured clockwise from north alpha at phi is derived from euler's curvature formula as follows r c equals 1 cos 2 alpha m plus sin 2 Alpha n display style r underscore mathrm c equals frac one dfrac cos caret two alpha m plus dfrac sin caret two alpha n. Topic combinations. It is possible to combine the principal radii of curvature above in a non-directional manner. The Earth's Gaussian radius of curvature at latitude phi is r a phi equals 1 2 pi 0 2 pi r c Alpha D Alpha equals M N equals a two B A cos phi two plus B sin phi two Display style R underscore mathrm a var phi equals frac one two pi int underscore zero carrot two pi R underscore mathrm C alpha D alpha equals SQRT MN equals frac a carrot two B A cos var phi carrot two plus B sin var phi carrot two The Earth's mean radius of curvature at latitude phi is R M equals two one M plus one N display style R underscore mathrm M equals frac two DFRAC one M plus DFRAC one N topic Global average radii The Earth can be modeled as a sphere in many ways. This section describes the common ways. The various radii derived here use the notation and dimensions noted above for the Earth as derived from the WGS84 ellipsoid, namely A equals equatorial radius 6378 1370 kilometers b equals polar radius 6356.7523 kilometers a sphere being a gross approximation of the spheroid which itself is an approximation of the geoid units are given here in kilometers rather than the millimeter resolution appropriate for geodesy equals topic mean radius 
equals in geophysics, the International Union of Geodesy and Geophysics IUGG defines the mean radius denoted R1 to be R1 equals 2 a plus b 3 display style r underscore 1 equals frac 2 a plus b 3 for Earth, the mean radius is 6,371.0088 km miles. .In astronomy, the International Astronomical Union denotes the nominal equatorial Earth radius as R E E N displaystyle mathcal R underscore mathrum E carrot mathrum N which is defined to be 6,378.1 km miles. The nominal polar Earth radius is defined as R P E N displaystyle mathcal R underscore mathrum P carrot mathrum N equals 6356.8 kilometers 3949.9 miles these values correspond to the zero tide radii equatorial radius is conventionally used as the nominal value unless the polar radius is explicitly required equals topic orthalic radius equals earth's orthalic equal area radius is the radius of a hypothetical perfect sphere that has the same surface area as the reference ellipsoid the iugg denotes the orthalic radius as r2 a closed form solution exists for a spheroid r2 equals a 2 plus a B two A two minus B two lane A plus A two minus B two B two equals Two two plus B two two fan minus one E E equals a four pi Display style R underscore two equals SQRT frac a carrot two plus frac ab carrot two SQRT a carrot two B carrot two lane left frac A plus SQRT a carrot two B carrot two B right two equals SQRT frac a carrot two two plus frac B carrot two two frac than carrot minus one E E equals SQRT frac a four pi, where E two equals A two minus B two. A two and A is the surface area of the spheroid. For the Earth, the orthalic radius is six thousand three hundred and seventy one point zero zero seven two kilometers, three thousand nine hundred and fifty eight point seven six zero three miles. Topic: Volumetric radius. Another spherical model is defined by the volumetric radius, which is the radius of a sphere of volume equal to the ellipsoid. The IUGG denotes the volumetric radius as R3. R3 equals a 2 b 3 Display style r underscore three equals sqrt three a carrot two b. 
For Earth, the volumetric radius equals 6,371.0008 km Rectifying radius Another mean radius is the rectifying radius, giving a sphere with circumference equal to the perimeter of the ellipse described by any polar cross-section of the ellipsoid. This requires an elliptic integral to find, given the polar and equatorial radii m r equals 2 pi 0 pi 2 2 cos 2 phi plus b 2 sin 2 phi d phi Display style m underscore mathrm r equals frac two pi int underscore zero carrot frac pi two sqrt a carrot two cos carrot two var phi plus b carrot two sin carrot two var phi d var phi. The rectifying radius is equivalent to the meridional mean, which is defined as the average value of m m r equals Two Pi zero Pi two M Phi D Phi Display style M underscore Mathrum R equals frac two Pi int underscore zero carrot frac Pi two M var phi D var phi for integration limits of 0, pi, 2, the integrals for rectifying radius and mean radius evaluate to the same result, which, for Earth, amounts to 6,367.4491 km The meridional mean is well approximated by the semi-cubic mean of the two axes m r approximately equals a 3 2 plus b 3 2 2 2 3 Display style m underscore mathrm r approximately left frac a carrot frac three two plus b carrot frac three two two right carrot frac two three, which differs from the exact result by less than one micrometer four times ten minus five in the mean of the two axes m r approximately equals a plus B two Display style M underscore Mathrum R approximately frac A plus B two about six thousand three hundred and sixty seven point four four five kilometres three thousand nine hundred and fifty six point five four seven miles can also be used. Topic Mean curvature The mean curvature in all directions at all points on the surface is given by the weighted mean Gaussian curvature R four equals one two minus pi two pi two cos phi R A Phi D Phi equals a two one E two minus one lane one plus E one minus E 
Display style R underscore four equals frac one two int underscore frac pi two carrot frac pi two cos varfi R underscore mathram a varfi D varfi equals frac a two SQRT frac one E carrot two minus one lane frac one plus E one E for the WGS84 ellipsoid, the mean curvature equals 6,370.994 km Average distance from center to surface Most global mean radii are based on the reference ellipsoid, which approximates the geoid. The geoid has no direct relationship with surface topography, however. An alternative calculation averages elevations everywhere, resulting in a mean radius 230 m larger than the IUGG mean radius, the orthalic radius, or the volumetric radius. This average is 6,371.230 km miles with uncertainty of 10 m Osculating sphere The best local spherical approximation to the ellipsoid in the vicinity of a given point is the osculating sphere. Its radius equals the Gaussian radius of curvature as above, and its radial direction coincides with the ellipsoid normal direction. The center of the osculating sphere is offset from the center of the ellipsoid, but is at the center of curvature for the given point on the ellipsoid surface. This concept aids the interpretation of terrestrial and planetary radio occultation refraction measurements and in some navigation and surveillance applications. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Published values. This table summarizes the accepted values of the Earth's radius. History The first published reference to the Earth's size appeared around 350 BC, when Aristotle reported in his book On the Heavens that mathematicians had guessed the circumference of the Earth to be 400,000 stadia. Scholars have interpreted Aristotle's figure to be anywhere from highly accurate to almost double the true value. The first known scientific measurement and calculation of the circumference of the Earth was performed by Eratosthenes in about 240 BC. Estimates of the accuracy of Eratosthenes's measurement range from 0.5% to 17%. For both Aristotle and Eratosthenes, uncertainty in the accuracy of their estimates is due to modern uncertainty over which stadion length they meant. See also equals equals notes. <laughs> <laughs>